I'm Roby Brock with your Election Central Daily Brief. Senator Mark Pryor heads out to early vote on Saturday. The incumbent Democratic senator will hold a press conference addressing volunteers and the media on the steps of Little Rock City Hall on Saturday. His campaign says he'll also provide an update about his campaign's GOTV get out the vote efforts after the first week of early voting. Now his Republican challenger Tom Cotton is rolling out a 14 minute biography film that will air across the state in paid programming all over Arkansas. A shorter version of the biography will play in Arkansas movie theaters during the final weekend of the campaign next week. You just can't get away from those commercials. Democratic gubernatorial candidate Mike Ross unveiling a new ad. The first part of the ad covers Ross's time as a small business owner and how he worked as a bipartisan legislator to improve education. The second part contrasts Ross with Hutchinson, his Republican rival, covering the Republican nominee's time at Homeland Security under President George W. Bush and not in a complimentary way. Speaking of Asa Hutchinson, his campaign announced a new Women for Asa coalition on Friday. The group held a luncheon at the Chennault Country Club featuring Tennessee Representative Diane Black. And another coalition announcement today, 2nd District Congressional Republican French Hill announced an African-American coalition that includes notable Democrats Annie Abrams, Richard Mays, and former Democratic gubernatorial candidate Dr. Lynette Bryant. On this week's TV edition of Talk Business and Politics, we'll drill down in the numbers from our latest polling with Dr. Jay Barth of Hendricks College and Impact Management Group's Clint Reed, and Arkansas Democrat Gazette columnist John Brummett, who is also a new contributor to Talk Business and Politics, will join us. Tune in Sunday morning at 9 right here on KATV Channel 7, your election central. For the latest political headlines, visit KATV.com or talkbusiness.net.